Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to thread your sideburns, chin, upper lip and your forehead, basically your entire face, on your own at home. If you're interested in knowing more about that, keep on watching. First and foremost, you would need a thread that is specifically made for threading facial hair. I bought mine a long time ago, I think in 2012. This is like the first time I started threading on my own. I'm sure now they are still available on Amazon and it should be pretty easy to find. So the most important thing about threading on your own is how you work the thread. So for that, there needs to be appropriate length for the size, of, the size and length of your palm and your fingers. In my case, because I'm experienced and I'm doing this for years now, I just eyeball the length. I'm used to it. But for a beginner, I would suggest starting with a length, like measuring as long as your forearm and holding it like this. And then again, I double the length that I already took and then cut it. You can use a scissor like a civilized person, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> I'm going to just use my mouth. <laughs> and then you tie both of the ends together the ends together okay and this size this length you can customize it like you can even after choosing the length right now you can change it and i think this this length is proper and appropriate for me but it can change based on the length of your fingers and the size of your palm. Once you tie both of the ends, you put your palms on both on either ends and then just twist one of the arms. Like I usually go this, the number of the twist also, I, I eyeball it, but a basic number would be like 10 or 20 times. So you just twist it and see the center part. You can see that there is the thread gets twisted in the center as you keep moving your palm around like this. You keep doing that. And now I found a good length. I think this is a little long for me. I will shorten the length of... Once your thread is ready like this, the other motion that is important is moving your fingers in like a synchronized rhythm so when one palm is closed the other one should be open like this and as you open the other one and the other one needs to get closed so this is the whole motion of the threading process most of the strength in this lies in the palm which is opening at the time like as this one opens up then this one automatically closes like it doesn't automatically close but you tend to close it and as you open this one up, this one gets closed. It might feel a little difficult in the beginning, but then you, you just need to practice more. Practice on your arms or on your legs and then try to get more experience doing that. And then you can move towards your face, towards working on your face. Just don't give up because it's pretty easy. If I'm able to do it, I'm sure you can do it too. It's just a matter of practice. I was not able to do it properly the first time I tried it but then I kept going at it and doing it so I think I'm repeating myself just don't give up that's all I'm trying to say once you get good comfortable with this you can start threading your face and I'll zoom you guys in and I'll show you how to do that so I put it against like up and this one is the down one like these fingers are closer together and these like you know away from each other and then as I open this up this goes these guys go closer and in that way this center part removes the hair like plucks the hair as you can see here I'm going this up and these fingers come closer you don't necessarily need to like pull these closer as the thread is going up here it tends to go down so you will automatically get your fingers together on the other end and when you need to get back to position where this needs to open up you just pull these guys up and then automatically your fingers on the other end will go closer together so that's how you start and then you open up your fingers and then get back to position like this 
and open up your fingers. The hair is going in this direction and put it against this is where the hair is going in this direction so I will be going in the opposite direction like this so my fingers are closer here and then I start opening them up and that's when it starts plucking so I am done with one pass so I'll again open it up these fingers closer together and then I start to open the fingers and then it goes up so basically one pass open these it's basically one pass open these guys up go back to position another pass open these guys up go back to position another pass Before I start threading, I always apply talcum powder on all the areas that I'm going to thread. This helps reduce the irritation and reduces the friction when you're threading. I usually buy this on Amazon, it's an Indian brand, but you can get anything. Applying talc can be a little drying, but you're not gonna let it stay on your face the whole day, so it's fine. When it comes to my sideburns, I don't usually like to remove everything so I usually like I put the long hair back the hairs that can go behind my ear and then take off this part and the hair is going in downward direction so we move our thread in the opposite direction of the hair growth So I usually do it pretty quickly, but as I'm making a video, I'm going slow. So this usually takes very less time, doesn't take a lot of time. And I'm not looking for like a complete removal of the hair here, but I want to take off the hair that looks like really short and stubbly. You cannot completely avoid the redness there's still some redness peeking through here that's pretty normal so don't worry about that I'll always go in like sections so once this section is over like how you do a vacuum you won't pe feel a lot of pain when you do it like quickly like really fast and this is how we, I do it but just for the sake of this video I'm doing it a little slowly when you're around your eye I usually close my eye and try not to pluck your eyelashes because I am watering Especially when I go near my eyes, that's when I tend to water a little. But it's not necessarily like I'm in pain and that's why my eyes are watering, it's just reflex. For this part, because I have acne here but there's still hair there, I will try to go like this, try to get as close to the as possible but still stay away from it so we do the same thing on the chin too like all the hair is going in this direction we go the upward the chin hair is a little tricky <laughs> because of the chin bone I'll apply some powder on my upper lips and sideburns and thread them the same way I did my 
left side and my chin again hair is going in the downward direction and I'll thread in the opposite direction same on my sideburns again and I will be back sometimes your finger gets like thread marks like this due to the friction and the pressure of the thread in these cases I usually just moisturize my fingers pretty well to reduce the friction and also the tightness of the thread needs to be adequate like if it's too tight then it puts a lot of pressure on your fingers I got some comments asking about this in my previous video so I hope this helps I usually also take um, breaks and like massage my fingers like this and up reapply my moisturizer so that reduces the friction a little I'm done with my sideburns, my chin, my upper lip, and my cheek area, and it's time for my forehead. I hope you learned something today. It might look a little difficult when you try it the first time, but with practice, you can definitely get better at this. That's how I started, and now I'd never go to a salon for facial threading. And it is very simple to do it at home. You can do this whenever you want to at home, and you can save so much money. And I bought this thread in 2012, and I still have it, and there's still a lot of it left. You can buy a thread specifically made for facial hair on Amazon and it's not difficult to get it. Let me know in the comments, please definitely try it. This is definitely worth trying, especially when you are in a situation like we are in, like the quarantine. Even when the quarantine ends, you will definitely be benefited by knowing this skill. And I highly recommend trying this at home. Let me know in the comments how your experience is. You can also tag me on Instagram. I leave my details in the description below and if you stay till the end of this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys soon in my next video.